This is the odometer out of my 280TE, which wasn't working from the overall counter or the short trip counter. Uh, you can see I'm putting a drill in there in the back just with a, a tile cutting head, I think it was, to spin the odometer. And you can see the speedo works, but the counters don't actually work. So the drill will show that the cogs are turning externally. However, that brass cog is not transmitting the, the motion to the grey cog, which controls the overall counter and the short trip counter. So I started by thinking I'll replace the grey cog with a, a spare unit that I had, although I think you can order them on eBay. So you tap this out with a drill from the friction nut on the outside, but you need to follow with a short drill after you've got it past that point. Otherwise, all the counter faces will fall out. and That's a bit of a task to get them back in. So I'm just pushing a drill through there. Taking the face off enables you then to get that grey cog out because you need to tip it forward away from the smaller ones, which you'll understand at the time. So I'm just, I've just replaced the grey cog and I'm trying to line it up. I'm getting the brass cog, I'm pushing that straight back in and feeding the retaining drill bit from the other side. You can see you want the faces lined up because it's easy for them to get out of alignment then they won't look good at the front. Uh, also you want to remember where you started. So then I just tap on the brass retaining cog from the other side. Um, I just put some pliers on each side of it and tap it down. An extra set of hands is helpful here. On goes the face again, and you can see in this picture I haven't actually lined up the uh, faces of the overall counter properly. I actually had to take it off again and do it a couple of times. So here we're drilling. You can see the short counter is turning over and the overall counter turns over, although it is misaligned. So I've corrected that, and then when I've checked it, you can see the short counter works again, and the overall counter did turn. So you can see the, all the cogs are turning now, including the grey cog, although it was misaligned at that point. I went back and fixed that. So that's uh, got us happy that this should be correct. And not that I play with it, but just to show that this is the reset mechanism. And sometimes those arms can fall off uh, when you, well, it did when I pulled it out. Uh, it's easy enough to assemble, but that's how the reset mechanism springs everything back to zero on the short counter.